Hey guys, so making a video here today on replacing the pump on your 420cc Predator from Harbor Freight. So these things have really good engines on them. I preach that all the time, but uh, my pump's finally having some issues. So we're going to be taking it off today. And I'm going to show you guys how we do that and how we go ahead and just replace it. So to start with, using a basic socket wrench, and then I'm using a number 14. It's worked pretty well um, so far. So just loosening these up here. There's four bolts that attach to the pump. So we'll get Daddy. all those off. And once we get them off, <clears throat> we'll go from there. And I'll show you guys what we'll be replacing it with. So stay tuned here. Head over to this side. Now these are on here pretty good. Mind you, I'm going to be doing most of this with one hand. Uh, but I'm going to have to stop the video and put it back on once I get these loosened up because I'm going to need two hands for this. So be back in a second. All right, guys. So once you get these four bolts loosened up, let's go ahead and take them all out. I'm going to set them down here one by one so you don't lose them. That one's still on there. A little was loose, but it's going to have some tension on it once you take those top two out. All right. Daddy! There's three. Daddy! What's up, buddy? I'm going to get my car back. You want to get your car back? Okay, where's your car? There. Uh, oh, it's all the way up there. <laughs> We're going to take a break to rescue a car here. Oh, gosh, this is your transformer. Yeah. Whew. There you go. Yeah, look, look in the moon, Daddy. I see it. I see it. All right, so let's get this last bolt out. Now, ideally, this this guy should just slide right off. So, whoa, that's normal. It will turn because that is on a engine shaft there, and it's gonna rotate. So, we're just gonna pull. I need two hands here, so let's do this. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I really had to fight with this here to get the pump off the shaft. <clears throat> You'll see here, there's a key that comes out that sits right up here on the shaft. And here's the pump. But I wanted to show you guys this part before I put on the new pump. Um, it's always good to get some marine grease to put on there or any kind of grease. Because next time you need to replace this pump you will be able to get it off. So if the engine goes out on you or anything, you can still get it off. So I'm just gonna coat this here with a bunch, a bunch of grease, and then I'll hit you guys up whenever I'm putting the new engine back on, or the new pump, excuse me. It's been a rough day. So I'm inside just mounting this back on uh, you just want to make sure you got it lined up with that key and that shaft that, that slides right on I am using the original hardware just because I find that the bolts are a little longer turn that back on pal so we'll get it fastened up here and uh, we'll try it out when it's all put together guys I just got it mounted it's looking pretty good it looks like a beast compared to the one that was on it um, getting ready to take that red cap off but <clears throat> the reason I like this setup a lot better is because you got this unloader here which you can adjust and if this ever goes bad you can take it off as you can see it's connected right there and just replace it so my Predator pumps unloader went bad, right? But it's, can, it's built to the pump, so you're pretty much SOL. Not to mention, <clears throat> this pump has a bypass ability. And it's just general better quality. I mean, it's, this is a general pump. pump. Uh, they do make good reels. I have a couple reels. 
This came separate. I just put some blue monster tape on and tightened that up as about as tight as I could because it's metal on metal. So I just wanted it real tight there. That way I didn't have any water leaks. But <clears throat> we got our uh, release valve down here. It's pretty normal. Um, the pump comes pre-plumbed with oil in it. Quite literally just unbolt the one you got on. Take it off. Put this one on and you're good to go. If you're Predator is in warranty, do be advised, this would more than likely avoid the warranty, but um, if it's out of warranty and your pump goes bad like mine, it's a perfect solution. Um, honestly, some guys even take the pump off and put this on to begin with, even when they're in warranty, and if they have to return the engine, they'll keep that stock pump and put it back on and return it, so that's always an option, I guess. Um, I know some people who have done that. I don't do that, but, um, so yeah, I'm going to fire it up here in a little bit. I'm going to get this unloader, kind of play with it, see where I need to have it at, and then we will go from there and see what kind of pressure we have. Looking forward to it.